Thank you, Babaji. My first question, Babaji, how to control the ego of the person? Sister, all of us have an ego. And that is because our parameters are very limited. As we open the parameters, we will be able to understand that we are nothing. So this will come with the passage of time. This will come with experience. Nobody can teach us humility. Nobody can give us humility. So unless we understand the creation in its totality, in a limited manner, we see ourselves of some importance. But when you look at it in totality, you realize that I am nothing. So this will come with time and with experience. My second question, Babaji. I have a good purpose in life, but suddenly I have a misunderstanding, small thing of my family. Suddenly they are keeping distance from me now, not only because of the COVID, but what should I do to, keep, to bring back the happiness in my family? You should always uh, make it clear to them you are always there for them. Okay, you, you show your love. Yes. Don't see what, how they are reacting or what they are saying. You fulfill your responsibility. Thank you so much, Babaji, and God bless you. Yeah, that's for me, Baba. It's been a long time that we visited Vyas and had your beautiful darshan. So when can we visit Dera again? Sister, Dera is not closed. Hong Kong is yeah. closed. Yeah. So basically, better, the question is that we've brought all this upon ourselves. So if we exercise a certain amount of responsibility and a discipline, yes. then slowly it will go away. So till such time, let's utilize this time to focus on our real seva, on our meditation. Thank you. Radha Swami Babaji. Babaji, thank you so much. You have given us this Zoom meeting. We were very remember you. और क्या आप भी हमको मिस करते हैं बाबा जी अगर मिस ना करता तो Zoom meeting क्यों करता तो बस मेरा दिल खुश हो गया आप भी हमको मिस करते हैं नहीं ये Zoom meeting एक तरफ से हो रही है क्या नहीं नहीं मैं बहुत खुश हूँ आपने मेरे को खुश कर दिया कि आप भी हमको मिस करते हैं और बाबा जी क्या गुरु को खुश करना बहुत मुश्किल है नहीं गुरु को खुश करना मुश्किल नहीं है मगर आ, हम सही रास्ता नहीं इस्तेमाल करते उसकी खुशी तो हमारे भजन सिमरन में है ना तो आप हमसे खुश हो बाबा जी अगर भजन सिमरन करती हैं तो खुश हूँ कोशिश करते हैं बाबा जी <laughs> कोशिश तो करते हैं अब दया मेरे करते जा और बाबा जी पूरी फैमिली पे और एक्सटेंडेड फैमिली पे सब पे आपका दया मैं कहा Thank you so much, Bhavati. Love you, Bhavati. Hi, Babaji. Uh, Radha Swami. Um, I, I, I wanted to understand, um, I've, I've often heard you say that uh, we're not here to change the world, but I wanted to understand what you mean by this. I get the idea of not attaching oneself to the world and our own ideas so much that it drives us to extremes and, you know, we, we pass judgment and punishment. And it, I, yet if we are one of God and one with God and are to reflect his qualities of graciousness, goodness, and forgivingness, and are also placed here with so many ties and like responsibilities towards others, how is it not part of our journey to ensure that changes are made? be it equality or, you know, correcting serious wrongs, fighting injustices and getting mad when you need to, like telling people what you feel when you feel it, uh, whether it's on a small scale in your home or like a medium scale or a larger scale, that, that change I feel has to be part of our journey. <laughs> so. But a change is something which is constant. Every day is a new day. Every hour is a new hour. 
Every second is the new second. The only thing permanent lie is death. So everything else is subject to change better. The question is, how obsessed are we going to become in thinking that by ourselves we can make this change? Now, so many mystics have come. We attribute so many miracles to them. If they had wanted, you know, with a thought, they could have changed everything. But did they come to do that? What was their message? Thy will be done. Tera paana mitha lage. Now, all of us, we have our own parameters. To the extent that within your parameters, you can exercise influence, you can make a change, yes. But if I think I'm going to change the world and I'm going to change everybody's thought, isn't that arrogant of me to think that I know better than everybody else? Isn't it my ego speaking? Where does it say that I know better than the person next to me? Now, I can only give what I have. If I have $100, I can give you 90. What I don't have, I cannot give. So shouldn't I first change myself? And once I've changed myself, if I'm positive, automatically it's going to reflect in everything I do. But if I set about uh, trying to change everybody else, I have weaknesses within me. It's like a drowning man telling the other person, come, catch my hand. He'll say, first you save yourself. So let's take a logical perspective. I'm not saying that we should not strive to change. We should. But don't get obsessed by it and don't think that you know what is right for everybody. Okay. But that, that will become, I mean, you forget the world. Yaar. Even our own parents, we don't listen to it. We think they are too patronizing. When they tell us, do this, do this, do this. They have much more experience of life than we do. Are we willing to listen to them? Yeah. And if you're not willing to listen to them, where do you think that you can tell strangers what to do and they'll listen to you? But sometimes it's the opposite way around, where you have a completely different perspective and you know, someone is doing something that's clearly wrong and you just have to explain it. You just have to try. You just have to keep moving. Most, you are most welcome to do that. But don't impose yourself. No? Don't impose yourself on anybody. Our problems in life stem from this. Whether it's in a relationship or whether it's in the family, that we try and impose our thoughts on the other person. Right? There's always a perspective. Just as you want others to respect your way of life, your thinking, you must learn to respect their way of life and their thinking. Even if this hurts other people, and even if this has like detrimental effects on, you know, how people see others behave and then act out. So even if someone is, you know, just... That is why, that is why laws have been created, that we don't encroach on each other's freedom. Because the word freedom means that if I don't like you, I should be free to slap you. But that's encroaching on your freedom. That's why laws have been created, where within certain parameters, like you're driving on the road, okay? You are free to drive on a particular side at a particular speed. But if you say, no, I've got freedom, I will drive whichever way I want to at whatever speed I want to, then what is going to happen? You're becoming a liability for everybody. And if an accident happens, even the person who's not at fault is going to get hurt. That's why laws have been created. That within the parameters, of those laws, we try and do our best. But never for a moment think, Vita, that we are right and the other person is wrong. From his perspective, he might be right. You don't know what his experience of life is. Appreciate the other's point of view, Vita. And if all of us appreciate each other's points of view, na, there will be no pain and suffering. Thank you, Babaji. Radha Swami, Babaji.
Babaji, I want to thank you so much, so much for today, from all of us. We really, really did not expect this. Thank you so much for thinking of all of us, Babaji. And Babaji, this one year has been very difficult for many of us. We've all lost, many of us have lost dear ones and near ones. It's been hard, but at each stage, we have felt your hand on us, Babaji. Despite the fact that the year has gone like that, but it was wonderful that at least we had a master to give us that strength. Beta, the basic thing is, it's like a glass half full or a glass half empty. It depends upon our attitude. You have the right attitude, Beta, you will see something good in whatever happens. And if we have the wrong attitude, we'll find something missing. So always be positive. And if we are positive, we can turn every situation to our advantage. True, Babaji. And Babaji, what happens when, as a human being, we want to be very good and we're trying and we're doing our responsibilities, but there are times when the world expects something different from us. What do we do at that time? How much? But I don't know, no matter how hard you try, how good you are, that you will be able to make everybody happy in life. So to the extent that we understand our responsibilities, you try and fulfill them. Beyond that, Vita, nobody has been able, even the mystics who came, they did not please everybody. If there were some people who loved them, there were some people who hated them, Vita. So we cannot please everybody. We have to fulfill our responsibilities. You do what you think is the right thing to do and then leave it at that. Thank you, Babaji. And Babaji, I want to thank you for the wonderful children, for the wonderful son-in-laws. And for the entire family, they've all been very, very nice with me, Papaji. Thank you at this time. Thanks. Ravaswami Babaji, thank you for giving us this opportunity. This is my first session on Zoom, and I just didn't know what to expect. Babaji, I really want to thank you for your grace. I am the lady who had come in a wheelchair from the hospital, and then I met you again when I was able to stand. But today I can walk by myself. I am able to sit on meditation before I was lying down and doing it, like you told me. And now I can attend satsang and I do some shiva. Babaji, I want your blessing that I can carry on like this to the end of my days. I have one question. Yeah. You know, uh, when we read the Bible, and uh, it says that uh, Christ healed the blind and they thanked him. You know what his reply was? He said, it is your faith that has healed you. So, Bita, everything stems from faith. And if we have faith, we are positive. His blessings will always be there, Bita. Babaji, I have always felt your presence and Huzur's presence. And I think that has been the only encouragement. I live alone. And that has been a big, big encouragement to move forward. So I really want to thank you. Babaji, I have one question on behalf of my cousin who is not here. She has read a booklet where there is a quotation and it says Baba Savan Singh had said that when you connect with the sound current, the uh, your bad... Uh, uh, tendencies or uh, wild tendencies will disappear if you have love and devotion. Now her question was, do we experience this before we see the radiant form of the master or after we see the radiant form of the master? Sister, where the Shabbat is concerned, the Shabbat is there 24 hours of the day. It doesn't increase or decrease. It is our focus which is lacking. So whenever we are focused, we'll be able to hear it, whether we are initiated or we are not initiated. Now, what is this Shabbat? The Shabbat is the creative power. The creative power that has created the creation. Now, just uh, try and understand that whatever strength we have, just imagine if that strength gets enhanced. Won't your ability to deal with situations, with issues become much better? Yes. So as we get in touch with the Shabbat, 
इट से शब्द कर्म की रेख कटाए शब्द शब्द से जाय मिलाए सो वेन यू आर गेटिंग इन टच विद द शब्द दैट पॉजिटिविटी विद इन यू स्टार्ट इन क्रीजिंग and if the positivity is increasing then the negativity is going to get diluted yeah. and if the negativity is getting diluted automatically your behavior which is stemming from that negativity will also become less so it's a, it's a process basically he's trying to make us understand that get in touch with the shabad and everything the process will start and happen on its own master radha swami thank you for your gift early this month i know that all conversations should happen inside now but i can't help myself it's been a difficult few months the last few months and i've spoken to you every single day of those few months so you know everything that's in my heart I I don't feel I am strong enough for this world to do this life. Beta that is why we need our meditation beta. Meditation should be our anchor. If the ship has a strong anchor you can weather any storm. If the anchor is weak then the ship goes into the storm. So beta all of us are weak. if we are here it is because of our karmas if we didn't have karmas why would we be here so there is certain weakness in us the lord is giving us an opportunity to remedy that situation so if we get in touch with that creative power with the shabad that will enhance our capability to be able to deal with situations in life so never lose heart never lose faith and if if we sort of do our best and if you have faith he will take care of it thank you master and there's something i heard in one of the english satsangs and the speaker ends with it is not arduous to reach the beloved otaki the difficulty lies in being able to gaze upon him could you say something about this cuz it seems that he's saying that it's not difficult to meditate and reach him but um maybe it's just the gazing upon him i'm not sure spirituality spirituality is a realization most of us think we have to do this we have to reach here that is our objective we are there we just need to realize it and the moment we get that realization everything is finished so it's like the wealth is in your house but you are searching outside so if we search within and if we can realize that we say seeing is believing na today it's a concept for us but when we realize it when we experience it then we will know reality and when you see that reality then all illusion vanishes beta then you see there is no distinction thank you master please give me the strength and the wisdom to happily accept whatever lies in the future thank you radha swami radha swami baba ji the year began with a roller coaster some good news bad news um i have always tried to stay in the will of the lord but sometimes i feel um fearful and uh past and past many years i feel that that fear has now started ruling in all aspects of life and then it snowballs into anxiety and although we know in heart that uh, it whatever happens happens for the best how, how to in that very situation go through what one is going through but a fear is always of the unknown factor you know we don't know what's going to happen we don't know the consequences of the action or the choices we make that's why we are scared now fear is integral in all of us all of us somebody is scared of one thing somebody is scared of another thing the problem with us is better that we don't learn 
because life is all about making choices now do we think we know better than the lord but aren't we exercising our right to choose if we are here it is because we made wrong choices so by now we should have learned to accept what he gives us rather than exercising our right to choose but if we choose and it's our responsibility yes. so through this meditative process what we are trying to do is get out of the darkness of ignorance in uh, bani guru sahib explain, explains gur gyan anjan sach netri paya antar channan agyan andher gwaya that when you sort of take the light of the shabad in your eyes then you will be able to dispel the darkness of the un so he has given us the support he has given us the way we just need to do it yes babaji but since i am not initiated at the moment what is the best way right now to connect be a good, stay calm be a, be a good human being that's the foundation thank you babaji radha swami babaji <laughs> babaji i lost my husband 3 months back i have my kids who are 9 and 6 years old i know that he's gone back to his creator i have tried very hard to be in his will but babaji like everybody around me tells me that you have to be strong you have to be you have to play a role of a mother as well as as a father how do i play the role of a father babaji and what would one advice what, you would give me for my future what choices do we have beta what choices do we have and you can't bring the soul back right but we have a responsibility beta whether it's to our rest of the family or to our children yes. now with every karma there's a responsibility if you fulfill that responsibility you are shedding your own load if you don't then you are adding to your load beta so it's not a question of thinking that i have a choice it's a question of fulfilling those responsibilities and if we sort of take the step forward okay now it's not that as human beings we have the ability to do anything beta we are just puppets in his hands whatever is done is done by the lord he just does it through us so if we have faith and we put in our two bits put in our effort he will give us the strength to be able to fulfill our responsibilities and keep that balance in life thank you for your grace and blessings always pat rather so radha swami babaji i just moved from india recently and i never imagined that i'll get this opportunity in hong kong to get this opportunity here yeah. so i just wanted to you know i have several questions in my mind since the time i got married i've been listening to your satsangs in delhi uh, i got this opportunity through my in-laws so i really thank to my husband and my in-laws for this you just guided us that when somebody close or like suppose our parents they depart from ourselves so we should you know try to overcome from this situation be strong so i just want to know like this path this it guides us to you know depart from all this relationship because from god only we we you know we came to understand that we should love our parents we should respect so i i i'm really like you know looking for a proper like definition how we should walk ahead no beta this is the path of love love doesn't mean separation love doesn't mean separation now if the lord has put us should do i love my children i do do i love my parents i do but if you segregate your love then you become obsessed we need to keep a certain balance beta love is the core of our essence and unless you don't love what you are doing you will never be successful so whether it is your bringing up your children or your families or whatever 
there has to be a certain relationship for you be, to be able to be successful and to move forward but what we do is we get obsessed mm -hmm. and when we get obsessed uh, suppose a, a mother loves a child so much she won't let him out of her sight she won't let him go out to play she won't let him go and study he might get hurt something might happen to him what will happen the child will react he'll say i want my space so there has to be a balance beta and as long as you keep that balance love will always be productive it's only when the balance gets upset then it goes takes on a negative form and reaction start taking place and the current situation sorry you love your entire family your spouse your children everybody and the current situation we all are going through so will you what's your i want to just learn from you is it like the deeds of human beings of all of us or like it's some another lesson which god you know wants to pass so that we are prepared and we just follow a good spiritual path in our lives ahead what is karma beta the law of karma is action and reaction cause and effect for every action that you take a reaction is going to take place so we are going through whatever we have done you can't get somebody else's karma you it's not you can't give karma and you can't take karma so we are going through the consequences of our own actions if we have not respected nature if we have not respected environment we are facing the consequences of that na so we have to step back and think what is the legacy we want to leave for our children if we love our children shouldn't we be uh, uh, concerned about the legacy we are going to leave for them what is what is mankind doing today we are destroying everything that comes in our path so we need to start thinking we need to see way beyond just our elementary needs and if we do that we can bring the situation back to normal but then everybody has to put in their best thank you feel so blessed please shower your blessings on our family thank you rara sumi baba ji baba ji main puchna chahunda si ki preet te pratit ede ch ki fark hunda te ek kis time bande de vich aundi hai naam nan to pehla ya naam nan to baad बेटा जिथे तो प्रेम और प्यार दा सवाल है बेटा प्रेम तो बगैर इंसान जिंदा नहीं रह सकता ओ ता जदो तो आपा जन्म लेता है ना उदो तो शुरू हो गया हुन एहसास दी गल है हुन जिवे जिवे आपा वड्डे हुंदे है आपा नु आहिस्ता आहिस्ता जिवे जिवे दायरा खुलदा है जागृता आंदी है ता सानू इना चीजा दा एहसास हुंदा है सो so, ये नहीं कि साढ़े अंदर प्रेम है नहीं गा मगर साडा दायरा यहो जहा बनिया हुआ है अखा के अगे तुम पढ़ा कह लो माया का जो मर्जी कह लो सू उस चीज का एहसास नहीं हो रहा भगती के जरिए आप उस पढ़ते हटा की कोशिश कर रहे कि सू उस सच का एहसास हो अपने असल का एहसास हो पापा कोशिश तो करी थी जिन्ना च हो सकता है काम के हिसाब न बारह होला काम हों उस हिसाब से कोशिश कर दी जिन्ना ज्यादा भजन सुनने से बैठा जाए फिर मन बार बार सत्संग यही सुनिए कि प्रीत प्रतीत तो बगैर कुछ नहीं हो सकता भवन जो मर्जी हो जाए तो आप अपने वालों तो मेहनत करिए ना कोशिश बाबा जी बेटा कोशिश आप अपना जो अपने वस में आप ही कर सकते हैं उस तो ज्यादा तो उम्मीद भी नहीं रखता बेटा आप अपना बर्तन तो साफ रखी है ना हाँ जी बाबा जी आप बर्तन भर भर नहीं सकते साफ जरूर आप करना है सो so, साड़ी जिम्मेवारी बनती है कि बर्तन साफ रखिए भरूगा वो मगर गंदे बर्तन तो कोई भी कोई चीज पान का जी नहीं ना करता सो so, बर्तन त, साफ रखना थोड़ी जिम्मेवारी है बाबा जी अपने एक बच्चे दे, बच्चे दे, परिवार से सदा मेरे परिवार बाबा जी मेरा नाम सुमी बाबा जी मैं सुनना चाहता 
ਤੇ ਜਦੋਂ ਸੁਰਤ ਚੜਦੀ ਹੈ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਕਿ ਆਪਾਂ ਸੌਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਸੁਰਤ ਚੜ ਗਈ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਪਰਖਾਂ ਚ ਨਾ ਪਾਓ ਜਦੋਂ ਪਤਾ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਪਤਾ ਚੱਲਦਾ ਫਿਰ ਤੋਂ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰ ਦਿਓ ਮਾਪਾ ਜੀ ਤਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੜੀ ਕਿ ਬੜੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਬਸ ਦਿੱਤਾ ਹੁਣ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਾਪਾ ਜੀ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਚ ਵੀ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਹੀ ਸਾਥ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਮਾਪਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਤੇ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੋ ਸਾਰੇ ਪਰਿਵਾਰ ਵੱਲੋ